Beetlejuice 2. That's my thoughts. Now, let's move on to the next movie I wanted to talk about. And we're going to kind of wrap in, in, we're going to kind of wrap in two movies. And the only reason we're wrapping them in, they have nothing to really do with each other. The only thing I'm wrapping in is the fact that Hunter Schaefer is in both of them. So, the first one I want to talk about is Cuckoo. So, we actually saw Cuckoo early before it even came out. Um, well, actually, was it out? I, I'm not sure. No, I think it. I think it was like right, like it was like a day or two before Cuckoo actually came out. Um, we got a screener. We got a screener, uh, which was very generous and nice. We were supposed to talk about this movie on our podcast, uh, but we just never really got a chance to because, like I said, Ashley has a lot of chronic illnesses, so it's been hard to do a podcast. But at the same time. Uh, that's why I'm here now talking about it. <laughs> We're probably still going to do a podcast and talk about it. Don't worry. It'll be there. Um, but, yeah. So, we got a screener from Elevation Pictures. They have been so good to us. They've been so nice. I love chatting with people in the industry. Um, and, yeah, I, I just I, – I like it. I like being able to – um have an option to see movies and talk about them even if they're already out like i don't care like i just wanted to see them because so, we live even though we live in a very populated and popular city in in cal uh, canada sorry i almost said california in canada they don't play like half of they play jack shit here literally when we saw beetlejuice by the way we had to drive to another town and that wasn't even because they weren't playing Beetlejuice. It's just that they were like running some weird kind of scheme where they were trying to charge us like $30 for a ticket. And we were not about to pay $30 for a ticket when there's another theater that's cheaper. <laughs> another theater chain. Let's we'll go to a different one. It's the same type of experience. They had us in the luxury seats and it was literally $40 cheaper. Not joking. Um, so yeah, we just, said, but, but anyway, uh, a lot of movies, even at the other theater, they don't even come here at all. Cuckoo. I don't even think played here in any theater. It's hard to find movies, even big movies. Cuckoo was a big movie. Um, it's hard to find movies in theaters for us here close to where we live. It's just hard. I don't know why. I don't know why movies don't come here. Like, petition. Bring movies to Windsor, please. Like, why do I have to wait till one time of the year during Windsor International Film Fest to hope that they play one movie that I want to see? Luckily, they're playing The Substance, by the way, at, at the Film Fest, which we're probably going to see, even though it's probably going to be $35 a ticket. But, um, insane that they're even playing that. Um... But yeah, so we saw Cuckoo uh, from Elevation Pictures. They actually it's from Neon, but Elevation Pictures um, distributes in Canada. They actually um, gave us the screener, which we're so grateful for. Thank you, Elevation Pictures. You are like amazing and a godsend. And I will literally like, I will like bend down at your feet and like beg for more, please. Um, but yes. Uh, <laughs> It's so good. Uh, Cuckoo was magical. Okay, Hunter Schaefer is in, in incredible. Like we need more of Hunter Schaefer in everything. Honestly, um, you know, like I, I've been seeing like a little bit of like hate. I, 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 not even a little bit, like a lot of it of hate towards like LGBT people, especially actors and actresses, um, and especially trans ones, and. I just never understood it. Never got it. Don't understand it. Don't get it. Where's the hate coming from? Okay? She just fucking killed it in this new movie. And that's why I'm talking about the next movie I'm talking about, by the way. Uh, but anyway, so Cuckoo is about... Um, this girl who is... Uh, like... I don't even know how to describe it. She's like in this like resort... And she's like watching the resort kind of kind of like the shining, but she's also not really watching it. She's like at like the front desk kind of thing. And um strange things start happening. You know, that's kind of like the basis for a lot of like movies like this. Um there's somewhere and someone is somewhere and strange stuff starts happening. Um but yeah. This movie is not anything of what I expected it to be. Watching actually I don't even think I watched any trailers for this. I 
<laughs> Bean is just over here. Um, I I haven't really watched it. I didn't watch any trailers for it, and I just right. No, I think Ashley was the one. Yeah, Ashley watched trailers. I didn't watch a trailer for this, and I just I went into it kind of blind, and um. Even then, I kind of had preconceived notions of maybe, like, what was going to happen and take place in this movie. And I was completely fucking wrong. This movie w- completely blew my expectations out of the water. And I feel like a lot of people are saying that. Um, and I think that you guys should go into it. And I'm not saying go into it completely blind. I don't care. Because I saw, by the way, another side tangent here. Saw somebody saying that they don't like when people tell them that they should go into it blind because then they do and then they hate like every movie. Um, hey, uh, hey, buddy, uh, maybe maybe movies just uh aren't for you, dog. Just stop watching them. It seems like you hate every movie. Okay, I'm not gonna say who that was about, but maybe you'll know by context clues because. I don't know. I, I actually had to block this guy because I'm just so annoyed seeing him and he doesn't respond to getting called out by me. I call out people, by the way. I call them out in their comments and then they just don't respond. So whatever. I protect my peace by blocking them if they don't respond. So I'm just like kind of tired of like people who like complain. It's like people who like they don't like like any movies that come out like there's movies that come out that are good dude you know i'm sorry that not every movie is fucking marvels and avengers okay dude fuck go watch the avengers dog go watch the avengers go put that on it's 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 already out it's been out go watch it sorry that not every movie could be the avengers okay fucking goddamn anyway um it's just it's just so annoying but um cuckoo was really good by the way um hunter schaefer was fantastic i saw a lot of people saying that they really like dan stevens in this um i'm not a huge dan stevens fan like i'm really not like i watched abigail he's in that and didn't like him in that and didn't like the movie kind of thought abigail fucking blue dicks and i i like i'm not just like saying that because of the fact that like you know (laughs) it's a popular movie and I'm not trying to like get clicks on that. Like I am glad if you guys liked it, I'm glad. And I'm glad that they're still putting out movies at all. Like I'm just glad that we're able to see horror movies. Glad horror movies are being made. I'm not here to like shit on it or shit on you or whatever. I'm not trying to attack you guys. I was just saying, do not really like have a girl. Um, just, I, I just, that movie is just not for me. Okay. I know that there's a, like P there's like a group of people out there that, that movie is for that movie is just not for me specifically i like more movies that are like cuckoo and i thought dan stevens was fine in this i'm not gonna crap on him um he actually was okay i really liked hunter schaefer um she brought a uniqueness to this movie that i didn't i i feel like has been missing from a lot of movies nowadays um actors and actresses like they kind of get into like the same type of they go through the motions kind of like dan stevens um and um but i i like when like actors and actresses like stand out and they have something about them um and they just like bring like a certain they bring something unique to the table and it's it, it's made it might not even be something different per se with their acting ability it's just something maybe it's just like the way that they like their their lip twitches or they they do like their eye movements or something it's like very small little things that make people stand out and i feel like hunter schaefer has that um especially for somebody who like wasn't even like into acting as far as i'm aware i don't even think she was like into acting so this is cool like it's cool to see like the growth that she's had over the years um and uh yeah I, I i thought the story for cuckoo was really good it's about this girl who's in a, in a resort strange things start happening like i said and it kind of has like a jalo feel don't take that too seriously um it just has like a vibe to it it's not a jalo by any means but it has a vibe to it you know what i mean like it it has like an aura about it that is giving a little bit of giallo 
By the way, I have a Jalo video coming out. You're going to want to stick through that because there's a lot of good picks on it. But like I said, so Jalos, um, I, I feel like this has a Jalo feel to it, even though it's not a Jalo per se. Um, and another thing that I really enjoy is Tillman Singer, I believe is his name, right? He's the one that did this uh, movie. Let's see. Cuckoo. Yeah, so Tillman Singer is the one who directed this movie, and he has, he does like these cool tricks where, um, I don't know if you've seen his other movie, Luz, which is on Shutter right now. He does these little tricks to kind of like give um, a, um, the like the inv- it, he's trying to like invoke like a feeling about the environment that the movie is in. Um, First of all, Cuckoo is shot in an amazing location, and that is, like, one of the best parts of the movie. It's, like, just beautiful. Um, Luz is also really nice looking, even though it's, like, there's not a lot of, like, environment. It's just kind of, like, they're, like, in rooms, but it looks really good. Um, And he has, like, this vibe that, like, where he's, like, bringing all these techniques from, like, 70s, 60s, and even 80s filmmaking and bringing them into the modern age. Um, just like the way he does, it, you know, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of directors nowadays that do this type of thing where they'll just like throw a little pan in there and it's like, Oh, that's like a, that feel that felt like kind of like an eighties or a seventies pan or like a zoom. And it's like, yeah, that's cool. But it's like the frame, it's like he's goes so far as like framing the shots a specific way. Like the actors are in the frame in a specific manner that is giving like 70s 80s vibes that's what i like about his directing style um i didn't like luz as much as i liked cuckoo but it's still cool that he's putting out these original movies because we don't get a lot of those nowadays this is a movie that is going to definitely not be what you're expecting so just go into it it doesn't matter if you go into it completely blind i feel like you're still not going to understand or you're still not going to know what is happening in this movie until you like get to the end and then you'll get it it's it's different than what you're expecting trust me the next movie i wanted to talk about was also and i just wanted to touch on it briefly before i end this it was about um Kinds of Kindness. Sorry, I was trying to think of the name. Kinds of Kindness by Yorgos. Our guy, Yorgos. My uncle Yorgos. No, um, but he is so... He's such a weird guy. Such a weird director. I wanted to talk about this because... Um, and I wanted to tie it into Cuckoo because these movies have nothing to do with each other. They're completely different. Completely different filmmaking styles. Different framing. Different editing. Different... All everything. But Hunter Schaefer is in both of them. And in my opinion, Hunter Schaefer is the standout in both films. And by the way, Hunter Schaefer has a literal one and like a half minute scene in Kinds of Kindness in the in the full two and a half hour fucking runtime. One and a half minutes probably. I, maybe two. And she steals the movie. It's not even like a comedic element. It's just... You just see her and you're like, oh my God. Yeah. Okay. Um, now we're getting into it, you know? Uh, yeah. I just, this movie is weird. It is weird. It starts off weird. Um, it's going to give you weird vibes. It's going to have you questioning what the hell is going on. It's going to make you think, it's going to make you like laugh, but it's also going to make you be like, is that a joke or not? Or what is happening? This is too weird. The tone is weird. The shots are weird. The shots aren't as weird as some of his other movies. Like he's definitely like done some more experimental things with, uh, like just, uh, like specific lenses and, and framing that he's done in, in certain shots. This is not one of those where he's like really going so experimental with it. It's pretty like, (laughs) like it, it has like a similar, tone in a rev it's you know what word it is it's irreverent that's the word it's irreverent it's weird it's strange unusual those are the words that i would use to describe this movie it's not a horror movie it's not like a drama it's kind of like a drama it's kind of like a a, a comedy it's almost like an anthology but like not really at the same time but it kind of is at the same time 
there's so many elements to this movie that bring i don't even want to like give you spo- i don't want to spoil anything i want you to go in completely blind obviously like i just said um go in completely blind not even if even if you come out not liking the movie i want you to go in completely blind because i went in completely blind um and i personally liked it um i thought the pacing was good the shots are cool like the acting is good um jesse plemons is fine in it willem dafoe is great obviously always is just weird it's a weird strange unusual movie so like if you're into like the more mainstream yorgos movies you probably won't like this one this one is a little bit more like it's definitely like more unusual and complex than his other movies but if you're into like an irreverent kind of like comedic drama style movie that has like thriller elements into it kind of but it's also kind of like an anthology and kind of not an anthology at the same time and it's hard to even like grasp what the hell kind of movie it is and you want also to see hunter schaefer steal the show literally go watch the movie it's that's it it is that is what it is okay uh, emma stone's good in it um not like her best work in my opinion but she's fine in it willem dafoe's great obviously like usual um yeah i mean i, I by the way i was saying something about emma stone like she i said it's not her best work i'm not trying to like diminish her because i i'm I'm just trying to let you guys know that she has some really good roles so like it's kind of hard to like live up to those and this one isn't was never going to live up to like a, a role like that um our, our, actually uh margaret qualley's in this movie as well and i don't typically like her in everything that i've seen but she was good in this in my opinion um i gave it a four out of five i liked it i think that you guys should go check it out it's called kinds of kindness and yeah i just didn't want to go too much into like the story because i feel like you should just go into it blind because it's not even in my opinion the movie itself isn't really like about the story that you're watching more so of like just like the interactions between the characters and the structure and just the different element other elements on top of it it's not just about here's a story point a to point b that's it it's not like that uh so if that's what you're if that's what you're expecting by the way don't watch this movie at all um i don't know why you would watch any yorgos movie because i feel like a lot of his movies are not like that but um this is definitely like one of the weirder ones that he's made uh just structurally and narratively just very strange uh and irreverent and weird and unusual but at the same time really good uh and hunter schaefer is fantastic in this so if you guys want to see hunter schaefer in another movie there she is um petition to get hunter schaefer in more things what are we doing what are we doing where's hunter schaefer get her in more things i want hunter schaefer in every movie okay how about that she's leading every movie from now on (laughs) No, I'm just kidding, but uh, yeah. I'm about to go off like a weapon, fuel to the top, got